Dave Carmel from the International Code Council. I, I, we don't have any standards that you reference, any codes or standards you reference. But I do want to follow up with what something Maureen Brodoff said, and I think it's important <coughs> to think about here, is that uh, one of the key points here is that you can make something available free on the standards developers website. You can, as we have done with many organizations, you can compensate the SDO for making those uh, copies of their document available on their website. We have all kinds of arrangements with various governmental entities where they pay us on a per item basis or some other basis to make the document available free to those who come to the website, uh, provide their name and email address. That also provides the SDO with the opportunity to update or provide corrections if there are later corrections made to that standard. It's very important when you're dealing with technical uh, standards. So I think you, you have to look at this and see that there's a lot of ways to comply with this language that don't require you to change the SDOs but to work with the SDOs individually and work out arrangements that will work for them and also comply with the provisions of the law. Well, again, we don't agree, disagree with that. We are willing to try and work out agreements that we can reasonably afford. We have been told, and we, when we understand, they're not, they're not exaggerating, that we couldn't afford to pay the cost of having it put on the web for free. <coughs> That's the issue we're trying to address. You tell us that we have to pay you $10,000 to put it up on the Internet, that may be something we can afford. You tell us it's going to cost us $10 million for your standard. Well, you know, we're getting our budgets cut. We're not getting them enhanced. I think you'll find that most uh, standards developing organizations, I can only speak for mine, but I think you'll find many of them are very willing to negotiate and work out something that works for you. We, we've had ag agreements with agencies, and I'm not going to say them specifically for, you know, but basically where... Uh, you know, they estimate how many will be requested, and we make an agreement up to that amount. If, they, if it turns out it's less than that, they, we can renegotiate. If it turns out it's more demand than what was anticipated, that can be negotiated. I think most SDOs, and obviously I can only speak for my own, but I think most are willing to work with you to meet your needs as well as those of the SDO to maintain the security of the uh, document and the, and the copyright. Well, they've certainly been willing to um, engage uh, in discussions with us, um, but I th if there's a business model, I, I, from what we've been told, where your revenue is solely based on the sale, then by providing it to the public, we are basically stepping into the shoes, and I think somebody mentioned this before, becoming a government monopoly, and then we'd be figuring out what their overall revenue would have been and paying them a license for that, because effectively, you know, once it's being made available for free, um, I think is what we've been told, that there's no real way to quantify how much it would cost us to basically be the sole customer going forward because we're stepping in the shoes of all others who may have bought it or would have wanted to buy it. Um, so I think that's sort of, you know, the, the ancillary point to Neil's comment, which is some of the business models, I think we've received feedback um, that it may not be as easy to change. I'm not sure the distinction between NFA, NFPA, um, and some of the others, other than I guess the business models sort of allow one to absorb that free posting online in other areas or other business lines, and others um, can't do that. Not to mention, I think on the, one of the panels this morning we heard that part of what they value is the autonomy of not having to have one customer or one s source of revenue in order to have, you know, re retain some level of independence and autonomy. But I would like to hear from some of the... Oh, sure, right, go yeah, ahead. I just, I just wanted to add to that, that point that it has also been explained to us by some of the SDOs that they deal with countries all over the world. If we make it available for free, it's not just how many people affected by our rule will want to get a copy. Everybody else around the world who's buying a copy can now come to that site and buy that and, and, and won't have to buy the document anymore. So, and again, we... It makes sense to us that that will happen if they do have those kinds of sales around the world. I was just